How's it going YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the Big Friendly Gardener. I am Jack and today we're going to be teaching you how to use a digger or a micro digger. So maybe you've got a project in the garden, around the home, maybe landscaping, whether it's digging footings, installing a French drain, whatever, where you need some help using a micro digger. Obviously time consuming and labour intensive digging out by hand. So today we're going to teach you the basic operations of using a micro. So let's get straight into it and let's talk about the exterior features of the micro digger and we'll break down each element so you can kind of understand the operations I'm talking about or referencing in the video. One thing to note, I am not a digger instructor, I am not a professional as such, but I've got thousands of hours using these bits of kit and I am self-taught and I've managed to teach some of my employees and stuff like that. So I'd say I'm pretty good for the job of creating this video for you. So again, that gives you a good opportunity to jump in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong. However, I will crack on now. So the first thing we're going to talk about with the digger is the tracks. The tracks are independent, so the left track and the right track move independently. Tracks can cog up and that can cause the digger not to move at all if you are struggling moving left and right, forward or back, etc. So one thing to check if that is happening check the gears and the cogs in the tracks and just make sure that it's all free there's no mud sand ballast whatever you're working with that material will be going into the tracks okay then so at the front of the digger we've got our blade i'll show you how to use the blade and what it's used for later on in this video and then at the front of the digger here we've got a swivel point and we've got our boom i like to break the boom down into pieces this will help you when you're operating the digger to kind of get your head around how to use it and the movements with that. So I break it down into nearest boom or closest boom, furthest boom, and then we've got our bucket. That might not be the correct technical phrase for it. However, the way that I'm trying to explain it to you will make sense in a minute. So we've got our closest boom, furthest boom, bucket, break it down like that. Whatever you want to call it, that's fine, but we'll break that down in the cabin in a second. So the digger we've got here today is a one and a half ton. You can go down to a 0.8 or a one ton micro. On those platforms, the tracks actually narrow or widen. The smallest width you can get 700 mil and then it folds out to 100. But this is a one and a half ton, so they are actually fixed. If you need some help on how to extend the tracks, then ask the hire company that you're hiring your digger from, because I'm going to guess that you're not going to go out and just buy one. The main part about excavation or using a digger is being safe at all times. A lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about today may seem like common sense, however, it is very important just to keep safe. So obviously we've got rollover protection systems. If you are a tradesman and you're using the machinery in an open format or in a public domain, just remember your lights, stuff like that. But I won't bore you with that stuff. That's pretty much the exterior. On the front of the boom, there is hydraulic attachments. There's fast couplings. But again, if you're using something like an auger on your micro, any good hire company should give you a familiarization or a walk round of how to use the kit. So don't worry too much about that. Again, this is basic operations. Same again with any digger. At the minute in the UK, we are allowed to use red diesel. However, that's probably going to be changing this year over to white. Let me know in the comments how that's going to affect your business or if you think that's a fair decision for the government to make. I don't know. We've just got our fuel cap and there's a priming system there as well. Let's move on to the cockpit. Okay, so let's start within the cockpit with just the basic operations of all levers. Starting off with our dead man's handle. Most diggers will have a red handle or a dead man's handle. Basically to start the digger, this has to be in the uppermost position and to operate the hydraulics, you need to fold that down like so. And that is the operating position. And that basically stops you from falling out of the cab or anything like that. And it's just a safety feature on the digger. We've then got our left lever, our right lever. These are our levers for our tracks, which I'll show you a bit more in depth in a minute. Here is our lever for our front blade that I showed you earlier. Throttle, and that's basically it. We've got our ignition and our lights down here and safety features, and also seat belt. It's good to note that some diggers won't start without the seat belt on. And again, to start the machine, the dead man's handle has to be up and then to operate the machine, put that down. We've then got some foot pedals. So I mentioned earlier that the boom has a hydraulic attachment. This foot pedal here is to operate a hydraulic attachment such as an auger or anything like that, or a breaker, stuff like that. So I've got that closed. So when I'm operating this digger, I'm not gonna get in the way of that. 
And then on the left here, we've got a we've got a skew or a pitch. So basically, this alters the angle of the boom. That'll make more sense later on. We can leave that one up. Here is a handle to change the ISO configuration. However, just leave that as it is, as I'm sure the hire company would have left it in the correct configuration. So if we just turn the digger on quickly. Okay, so let's concentrate on the left hand handle. Pulling that handle back towards you brings the outer boom towards you. Pushing it away brings the outer boom away. We've then got rotation left and right. So the digger actually swivels around the base. So if I press right, that will turn to the right. If I press left, that will turn to the left. Then our, on our right hand handle, what we've got is our inner boom so bringing our inner boom towards us and our, and push it away brings our inner boom out so back and forth controls the inner boom on that and then as i mentioned before left and right controls the bucket so right will open my bucket up and left will bring my bucket in as you can see we're on a french drain project here and this is a really good place to try and teach you the movements of the digger and it should make sense a little bit more on how to operate the digger. I'm going to be telling you what I'm doing with my hands at all times. Just watch the movements of the, the boom of the digger and you should be able to get your head around what I'm talking about and how to operate. One thing I haven't covered yet is the blade. So as I mentioned before, if you pull that blade handle towards you, the blade lifts up, push it down, the blade takes the weight of the digger and digs into the ground and we've also got our throttle here so pull back for more revs push forward for less revs so the blade can be used for either grading as i said an anchoring point when you're digging the digger can pull itself forward so that blade just digs in and stops it from moving and keeps it safe and stable so my dead man's levers down i'm ready to operate so with my left handle to turn right i'm going to push that to the right I'm going to get it in place and now I need to think about how I would actually dig this if I didn't have a digger. So you're not just going to hit, for example, to dig the ground here, I'm not just going to pit the bucket down like that, that's not going to do anything. We want the teeth of the bucket at a downwards angle like so. So I've pit on my right hand, I've made that perpendicular or parallel with the floor, whatever the term is, so we can actually dig something. So with my right hand I've opened that bucket up by pushing it right. As you can see there, I've overcompensated and it's gone too far, so we'll close that in. Can rotate left hand, pushing left. I'm then gonna push down with my inner boom and then to extend the height, if I push forward with my outer boom as well. And at this point, I need to put my blade down just to take some weight. But as you can see here, what I'm now gonna do is push those teeth to the floor and I'm gonna allow the bucket to do the most of the work. So with my right hand, I'm going to push left, start to close that bucket. I'm then going to pull back with both levers to close both those booms to draw back. And as I'm doing so, closing that bucket with my left hand to keep what's in my bucket parallel in order for it not to fall out, if that makes sense. I'm then going to pull back on both my levers, bring that height up. I'm going to check around me. It's all safe, rotate and pit that mud where I want to. I've done that on minimum revs with no power. So it's a great bit of kit. We'll just do that again fast speed. Maybe Aiden can get some shots of my hands so you can see what I'm doing. If you just check the hands out here, I'm just gonna completely repeat that operation. So what you've just seen, this is what I'm doing with my hands now. So I'm gonna, I've got my bucket corrected, pushing down with both levers. I'm at the floor. I'm going to close the bucket a little bit with my right hand and I'm going to start drawing back with both levers. I'm now going to close my bucket off by pushing left. I'm going to draw back by bringing both that inner boom and that outer boom in. I'm going to rotate with my left hand. I can either rotate right or left. With my left hand I'm going to rotate To get the height, I'm going to push forward 
and pull back at the same time. So I want my outer boom to come out. I want my outer boom to go out, but I want my inner boom to come in to get that height of the bucket. So I'm going to push forward on my left, pull back on my right. Rotate, push forward, open the bucket. As I said, this video is literally the basic operations. Just be safe, take your time. And the easiest way to learn is jump on the thing, spend 10 minutes getting used to it. One thing I would say, I have not shown you the tracks yet. I'll show you them now. One thing about moving the digger, always move the digger with the blade up. So I need to bring the blade on the front of the digger up. Try and keep the center of mass towards the digger. So don't be moving about with your booms all the way out and stuff like that. These levers are ever so simple. As I said, the tracks move independently. If I want to go backwards in a straight line, what I'm going to do is bring both of those levers back. If I wanted to go forward, I'll bring both of them forward. If I wanted to move right, I want this track to go backwards and this track to go forwards in order to shift round. So I'll bring my left forward and my back right. Same for the opposite side. So if I wanted to go left, I need my right track to go forward, my left track to go back like that. The one thing I would say is these do not change when you rotate. So the front blade is the front of the digger or the front of the tracks. So if you're pushing forward, it will always go in the direction of the blade. For example, I've now turned round. That is my forward. However, the blade is facing that way, so that is the diggers forward. So as you can see, if I push forward on these levers, I technically go backwards. That's one thing to remember. And again, so if I wanna go forwards, turn around with the blade behind me, I need to go in reverse, if that makes sense. Okay, so as I said, this is just a very, very basic operation of a digger. It should get you on there. As I said, you need to jump on the digger and learn for yourself. There's some great higher companies in the UK and I'm sure there is overseas as well and if they're not showing you how to use the digger or spending 10-15 minutes with you then don't use them find someone you know just say to them I've never used a digger before do you mind and I 100% guarantee any good firm will show you just take your time with it move into a video now of me actually operating it chest mounted camera just watch my hands watch what the boom's doing take your time and be safe <laughs> So hopefully from that video you've just seen, you've got a good idea of what my hands are doing, what the booms are doing and stuff like that. As I keep banging on about, take your time with it. If you're in your own back garden and you've got some space to work it out, you don't have to dig anything until you feel comfortable with the controls. It's mega easy, just jump on a digger and get used to it. Good thing about learning how to use a digger is you're gonna save a load of time and a load of money if you're gonna do the jobs yourself. If this video has helped you, please hit that like button. Comment below if you want me to show you anything else on the digger, maybe how to change a bucket or go more in depth with some advanced techniques. That's fine, just let me know below. If you could subscribe if this video has helped you at all, it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps the channel grow. So please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so you do not miss any of our new content. I am Jack, the big friendly gardener. Thank you so much for watching. 
You can click here to see Cut Crew Limited's website. You can click here to subscribe. You can click here to watch a video that YouTube thinks you might like. And you can click here to watch our latest video before this one. I think it might be coffee time. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, we got this to finish first. 